Hello everyone. Hello strangers. How is everyone doing today? Hi ho. Meeks. Bali. Woozy. Shido. Plankus. Kumi. Hype-san. Thank you for high parade. Paul. Chuna. 
天气 red mix did I say mix yes I did gold purple idol hollow this is is this a new one fresh meat welcome in Casty Onyx Homel Kenneth Fatalo Zeo Luax Definitely saying that wrong incorrectly Zio Luax Jin Sorry if I miss you There's quite a few of you today I Guess we're all excited to see how this melon felon is going to go down. Random guy man. Puck puck. Hector. Zamiya. Hakuzuki. Hakuzuki. Like white moon. Sleeping John. Did someone leave? Joseon, Joseon. A freaking mango. Just a freaking... Just a freaking mango in there. Dog pockets. There's just a fucking dog in there. <laughs> yes, aiming for no wheezing today. I have desensitized myself by typing this up. Melon Felon, once upon a time, and deep down under, lived a curious fellow, whose name was Jello. He often ate melons with his friend, Relin, who became a felon. Melons and Relin, talk about the color blue, I don't know. There's so many shades of blue. Ultramarine, Cobalt, Cerulean. But only one shade that truly mattered in the end. Midnight! She painted the shade of Midnight on the unfinished corner. The painting came out great. Now the painting shines in the wall. In the wall. And it is time to rest. See, I can get through it without dying now. Probably I saw your boyfriend's crafts. They're really amazing. What do I call what do we call your boyfriend? Okay, so in manga making the first step in doing the actual manga. Oh oh yes, by the way, for those who don't know, this is the story we wrote together on Gothic Phone. Moving, beautiful, riveting, and we're, as a gift, my gift to you all for 2k subs, I'm going to turn it into a short comic. Yes, as you can see, I have worked on it a little bit, tried, attempted, because the story is so chaotic, I was like, I can't even imagine <laughs> what this is going to look like. I did a bit of planning. And I'll tell you guys how to how to plan and what to watch out for. I'm making a manga story for the ages. She will break till the end of the stream. You can call him Levi. Or Levi. <laughs> Levi is the Japanese way you're saying it. Or Stan or whatever. He's not picky just yet. Will he be- Will he become picky? <laughs> Levi. I know Stan is in his Discord name. Maybe that'll be easier for everyone to remember. Stan. We stan a stan. So... You guys don't even know the chaos that ensued before stream so i forgot to give miso her his eardrops 
and I had to and he was standing on my table being annoying so I had to take that opportunity grab that opportunity by the titballs I'm so <laughs> and um and get a hold of him I, I succeeded So, um, uh, when I start planning a comic, I will have lots of, um, tiny mini versions of the pages, like little rectangles to rep represent each page, so I can plan while being able to see overall how the flow works etc so what i do is i'll take the actual page itself like so this is what the actual the file where we're going to draw the actual pages so i just take um, and this is, you can see the guidelines. This is the bleed. So this part is going to be trimmed off. You always need to leave bleed. When, um, in any type of printing. At least, most types of printing. Have to leave a bleed so the actual page is going to look more like this so i would recommend taking this selecting this area i actually made a mistake and selected the full thing so the rectangles are not quite right so i'm redo retelling you guys how to do it and then just um while you have it selected, right click, stroke, and then maybe do 10 or 20 pixels. So now you have the dimension, the ratio, size ratio for the page. And then you, you take it to your planning file, planning Photoshop file. Like so. Make it smaller. And then just duplicate. Make a bunch of something, something is being selected <laughs> I would recommend making doing this on a fresh file you know <laughs> and then I will fill the squares underneath fill the rectangles underneath with white then you can when you and then do an alt layer for whatever planning you're going to do and it's going to stay within the rectangle if you care about that you can also leave it leave the leave the lines um, going beyond the template if you don't care about that now what <laughs> I always say that so always say titballs when it comes to opportunity <laughs> day two of asking to boob tabby's nose no not a chance not a chance get bonked so when you're planning a manga what 
What do you have to keep in mind? Then let me read my notes. How was you guys' the weekend? Guess what I did after my big debut week. Material for those who want to make manga. Probably every single sequential artist has heard of this. Understanding comics by Scott McCloud. In the book, they explain a lot of concepts to in a comic format. How fitting. Highly recommend it. Opened my third eye in manga. In, in man understanding how mangas are made. Like, before reading this, I had no con concept. Like, I wouldn't even know where to start. But after reading this, I kind of get the idea. So, really worth reading. And to get manga page templates, you, you can... There's this printing surface that um, prints manga sized. Um, manga sized mangas. <laughs> manga sized comics and they have a template you can download and on top of this also just copy a screenshot of a manga page anywhere and then use that as a guideline for your margin area because usually mangas actually have a wider margin than this and then yeah the squares are like yeah, this margin looks a bit narrow. This is more for text. Making sure no text or important components are hitting this area because it might get trimmed off just a little bit. And... In the beginning, well the first page, I think the first page is very important, right? First impressions. So for me, I think it's important to set the scene, set the mood for the first page, and have something that is eye catching and interesting to look at. And it's where you show want to show off your skills. Like for the the audience to be like, "Ooh, this art looks pretty cool. I'm gonna keep reading." Or this, this scenario, this scene, um, this setting looks cool. Looks interesting. You wanna spark intrigue. Intrigue. Show off your drawing skills set the mood set the scene so I feel like some sort of background art is always nice for the first page okay. mine was okay worked on a lot of art mainly on a surprise is this someone's Someone's special day. Many moles have tried to boop, none have succeeded. Only Shiro has su succeeded in a headpat. Yet, slept. 
horizontal for the entire weekend. That's exactly why I did Chilo. As a treat, I downloaded the TikTok. <laughs> really, really, it's like a dessert for my brain. It's not not very good for the the body, but it's good for the soul. <laughs> I straight up spent all of Saturday scrolling TikTok until two a.m. And then I uninstalled it immediately after because I realized I remembered how dangerous this thing was. I looked at a good amount of cat memes. Re um catching up on what the young guns are up to. Tabby must have touched grass. I did go outside. Also. I don't think I did anything interesting though. I just um, wanted to stay off. I wanted to try not to socialize. <laughs> Grow a bit after all that. And for the first panel, at first I was thinking of this because it's a land deep down under, right? So I was thinking some fossils to show this is very deep down under. But I was like, I was thinking maybe that's not very interesting. So I turned it into the sewers. So Melon and Relan, they are currently living in the sewers. Is I do you, do you guys how many animes do you guys know that are that are set in the sewers? None, right? This is gonna be our USP unique selling point. <laughs> Not the business talk. Sewers. And I have a figure. This is very commonly found in short mangas when where they want to introduce the character quickly in an eye-catching way. They'll have like a full body shot going across the panels. So your eye's gonna focus on the character because they're literally coming out of the page. So this is melon. Wait, no, this is Jello. <laughs> this is Jello. Jello, his name is Jello. Okay. This is Jello, and I was thinking he has a Jello on his head. Because <laughs> I can't think of any other character designs. And they're in this dark, mysterious, tunnel-like place, aka the sewers. The, sewer sy the sewage system. And um, he is running over here. Running towards this dark figure. To hand her some melons. And if you if you read the story carefully, you'll notice that Relin is actually a girl, a female felon. Maybe I can explain. So this is a more detailed version I have done. There's going to be a shot of the sewers. Like with the scary dark tunnels. And some a dynamic pose right here. And then in the final panel, we see Relan's face. The In the 
next page, you see a close-up of the melon. Because I know a lot of mangas, they focus on the characters. But for me, I enjoy mangas that show the surroundings and and just small things about the world. Showing small details in the world without putting it in text. Putting it in dialogue or text text form. Like rather than having the character say, oh there's a couple of seeds still still tuck, stuck to this slice of melon. Instead I I want them to just show me. To me that that's a characteristic of a good manga. Show don't tell, right? I got sick and can't do anything. How about you? That's so sad. I feel like a lot of people are getting s sick these days. How about Meeks? Meeks and someone else are sick. Hope Meeks is better. My weekend was ass. <laughs> Nicely put. Until I watched someone do a model debut. Then it was peak. Who? I like a good model debut. Did you guys watch Miko's uh, birthday concert? Get well soon and juvenile. Someone will doth bopping. <laughs> Went to a medieval fest. It was a lot of fun, but too much touching grass. Need some rest. Was What's the the opposite of touching grass? Is it rotting in bed? Ooh, hello, Y four nine one three. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the garden. Thank you for joining, members. Sensei, do you also have an have experience with webtoons? Um, I have never made a webtoons, but I have worked on a manga before like a very small tiny tiny little indie project i think the guys just wanted to do it for fun mostly they wanted it to become a thing but mostly for fun i think tiktok therapy <laughs> tiktok's the opposite of therapy and you when you're planning page keep in mind there's going to be speech bubbles so here i have left some room for the speech bubble the text is gonna go here still within the margins i think one tricky thing about planning an english manga is the fact that verticals bubble vertical bubbles fit the page format better but the text uh, our text is very wide like the words can become very wide one long wor word that's one of the biggest struggles and also if you've noticed i i know a lot of mangas are read from from this direction right but because we are writing in english I'm planning it to be read this way <clears throat> and I really feel like if you're if it's meant to be English originally <clears throat> if the original version is going to be English then I would probably suggest planning it to be read in this direction rather than copying what they do in Japan which is the opposite direction because of the way English is read because they, they can read up and down right? when they read they go up and down the text goes but for English the text goes so we're forced to read in this direction 
So if you plan according to the flow of English, it's going to read better. And to start off the to start off planning, usually I just plan where the head placement is going to be. Just do two circles, like two people. I want two people at a cafe. Then I'm gonna start with this, and then think about the body and what the speech bubble is gonna do. Because the head is the most important. Think about that first. And you can also think about if you want a wonky panel if you want to use a wonky panel or a straight panel wonky panels are more dynamic so good for action scenes so we have the the melon the melon close up <laughs> close up and then they start eating and then they start chatting about colors. Um, what's his face? Jello. Actually they talk about the melon first because in the script it says they off they often eat melon together. So I want I want to um to show that but not word for word so I'm gonna make her say melon again can we get something else can we get some blueberries or something like something on the lines of that and then Jello is gonna say beggars can't be choosers plus we have to hurry don't we and then I'm going to cut in this panel is going to be a close-up of her ankle monitor. <laughs> That's going beep. I don't know if ankle monitors beep, but this one does. <laughs> For maximum effect. Okay, this is like another example of detail. Without straight up mentioning in dialogue, you're wearing- oh, you're wearing a an ankle monitor. Instead of doing that, just show it and then add context with dialogue. Because this, what does this mean? What does this panel tell you? It tells you that she is a felon, number one, and they are on the run. Because there's no time to complain. You have to have to hurry up and eat and, and get whatever you need to get done done and then we have to run okay this is what i'm trying to say <laughs> what does a medieval fest look like do you do you have cosplay i feel like that would be really cool ninja turtles so tabby conserved brain power over the weekend for today makes sense yes Precisely. Still... Oh, I think you're trying to say still tuned into my stream. Thanks so much for spending your rest time with me for a little bit. It's because... It's because there was mistrust in Plangus. <laughs> so the story was... Plangus was trying to tell Hypesan. The audio is glitching a bit. But because Plangus is... Um... Our last brain cell. He says a lot of random things, and it makes Hypesan not trust Plangus. <laughs> but this, in this scenario, he was he was really telling the truth. It was glitching, so I, so I just had to show up. I had to show up for the goose. <laughs> 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 
There's a manga I read a while back called Manhole. Oh, interesting. Please um, put it in book racks, maybe. Doro he doro. Oh, mutant. All the ninja turtles are also in pipes. Cute alien panda girl sounds great. Speaking of which, Bali showed us. Oh, not that. <laughs> Bali showed us some something cool. This new species. Is it a deep sea creature or some sort of sea creature? Newly discovered. Called sea sea squirts, I think. Panda sea squirts. They look like tiny pandas with skeleton underneath. Really cool. It makes sense that you like Tengoku Daimakyo. If you like that show, don't tell. World writing. Yes, I do. I'm also a fan of his other manga, Sore Demo Machi wa Matte Iru. I have I haven't heard of that. Maybe I should read the mangas. It's creating a new type of fungus inside your own room. What? <laughs> Touching sheets, that's a good one. But blueberry doesn't rhyme with brown. <laughs> <laughs> New added dialogue. New dialogue unlocked. Okay, and then because they're because in the next part of the story they're going to make a painting. So now it's time to start hinting. Why are they painting? Like or start to hint? Start hinting that they are going to do some painting. So we see more objects in the foreground to give context. And you can see there's there's many way there are many ways to treat um, to do paneling. Like right here I have opened up the panel to show more space. Yeah, so that's also an option. I would recommend just reading or even googling some manga and see what other artists have done and then try it in your own manga. See if it works. It depends what kind of feeling you're trying to get, trying to give to. So um, another thing is while the characters are talking, it's more natural to make them do something with themselves rather than just standing and talking. So right now, they are chatting while eating melons. I feel like that's that would be more natural than them standing or just sitting doing nothing. And through the actions, you can also tell the audience a little more about the character with the posture, etc. Maybe they're fidgety, or maybe they don't fidget. And then... And then, um... Jello... This, I feel like this panel shows that they have been hanging out for a while because without saying anything, Jello's already handing over a bin bag for her to put the rubbish in. This to me suggests that maybe before, maybe she's probably a sloppy person and without easily accessible bin bags, she would probably just leave it on the ground. 
leave her rubbish on the ground, so... But Jello is there to take care of her. She's probably some sort of mad genius personality. And then she picks up the... The paint and paintbrush shown in the previous previous panel. Maybe we can even have a paintbrush here somehow. And then she says, for me, wait, right here she says, for me, picks up paintbrush and paint, I really like blue. <laughs> and then here in the background, we can have some big, big law drop, like law as in, what is, why are they underground? Why are they in the sewers? And I was thinking because when you paint, you you sh sometimes you will lay down newspaper, right? And then we can have the current news printed on the newspaper, and maybe it's like something very apocalyptic sounding, like surface is dead, and then just images of um utter despair in the background. That's another <clears throat> that's another way of revealing law without having a character tell you because that's not very engaging. Don't don't treat your unless you're doing a kids comic don't treat your audience don't treat your reader as if they're dumb. Because then you will only get dumb readers. <laughs> I'm just joking. Please don't cancel me. Hello, Featherhead. Oh, yes, lots of cosplay at the Ren Fair. That's awesome. You know, for armored cosplays, how do they create? How do they create the armor? It's crazy. Will we learn why he, she actually, why she became a felon? What do you guys think? You guys help me write the rest of her law. Maybe, maybe she accidentally murders someone with paint. Or she, she paints somebody with poisonous paint and then kills somebody. Or maybe painting is a felony in her world. RIP Plangus showed up for the goose and stayed for the goose. Precisely. <laughs> maybe maybe stayed for waifus, I don't know. There's cosplay of many faring levels in the medieval fest. It's really cool. One of the things I enjoy the most in life is seeing people at peace and enjoying the things they like. I agree. It reminds me of the movie. I've completely forgotten the title, but I think the main character goes to locking. That's a thing, right? Okay, I'm only finding the definition of locking <laughs> to have fun, frolic, romp. It's basically real life. Roleplay? Medieval roleplaying? From my understanding. It reminds me of that movie. That was a good movie. Speaking of movies, I have been preparing my overlay for watch alongs. So. This came about because I mentioned James and the Giant Peach 
and people say they love that movie. So do I, and I want to watch it with you guys. Do we want to watch James and the Giant Peach? Who has seen it? Or who hasn't seen it yet would like to watch it together? Maybe this Friday or this weekend. I'll let you guys know. Hello, uh... Nima, right? Nima. And the hollow tube fish. Hollow. They do look like pandas. New sushi. Oh, hello. Hello, BJ. Is that unsay so to say? BJ Crow. Welcome to the garden. You fit just, you fit right in because you're a crow, but now you're a mole. Those guys are, was a tunicate, tunicate. Ooh, some sort of sea creature, marine invertebrate, invertebrates that are part of the something something. <laughs> Sea squirts. Oh, I know. Oh, I... I see, I see. Any meaning for the box reaching out the page? Um, sometimes is For... Sometimes is to make the page look interesting and because... You know, the flow go... The reading flow goes this way, and if you make it extend, then you can direct the reader this way. Oh, this this is on grayscale mode. <laughs> but yeah, it's to can be used to help with flow or just to make the page look more interesting. And Having the character extend out the box also, it um, places more focus on the character. Box equals panels. Maybe the world is super grey outside, like pollution is super high, or air quality is super low or something. So colours are illegal? Is that the law? Tabby invasion or something? Nice to meet you. Hajimete mini kimashita. Oh, irashai, irashai. Mitte kure de arigatou gozaimasu. Mem member membership sankashite sankashite kure de arigatou gozaimasu. Okay. Watashi no nihongo Dwindling this. <laughs> I said I would practice in the Japanese channel. Haven't had enough brain cells to practice. Buff army, I mean, cosplay armor is made with EVA foam or warbler. Or if you like Levi, you make it out of leather or forge the metal. <laughs> you, he, he forges the metal? Jesus Christ. What in the senshi? That's really impressive. Illegal graffiti painting. Yeah, I, I was thinking that vibe. Maybe she's, she's, she's spitting truth with the paintings. Unsolicited graffiti. Graffiti painting? Hello, mini me. Welcome in. Um. Oh, some people haven't watched James and the Giant Peach yet. It's very cool. Steel armor is forged locally or ordered from other smiths. That's crazy. 
costume armor can be bought easily or made at home. Leather armor can also be bought and made at home. I imagine it must be quite pricey compared to regular cosplay. I have seen and read it. I have never read it. Let's watch it then. Names in the giant peach. Okay. Okay, and and then it cuts to a close-up of her finishing the painting. As it says here. It says here. It's, it's really about how you interpret the script. How you turn it into a visual representation. She painted the shade of midnight on the unfinished corner. Right, so this panel is her doing that. But then to adhere to her character, she drops the paintbrush because she's sloppy and she doesn't care, right? And then this guy is like... Jell is like... Oi! You know I have to clean that, right? His pants. Because I feel like it would be a little bit cheesy if we just cut directly to her masterpiece. So we, we can have a little bit of distraction here. And then he's here he's talking about how it how the paint stained his hair last time. And then but then he looks up. He's like, but it's all worth it. Because I like your paintings. Be right back sewing up. Right, and this is her masterpiece. <laughs> this is a placeholder, obviously. But maybe you guys can help me decide what she paints. And then here in the foreground, she goes to sleep under all the newspaper. Like utilizing. You, you imagine, have to imagine how the characters live. Because they already have newspaper for painting. I would imagine they would also double it as blankets for sleeping Nihongo Jyozu desu Arigato gozaimasu Mada mada desu Um I feel like I'm just saying the same thing over and over again <laughs> Um Atarashi Kotoba wo Ah Oh boy <laughs> so right now maybe we can start refining the sketches do you guys have any suggestions for their character design I really don't have much of an idea for the character design besides the the fact that um jello has jello on his head Why does he have jello on his head? <laughs> or oh, can we do the anus squish? <laughs> Sad plagiarism. A lot of first page, um, first pages that will do a top-down perspective to really show off the face of the character, but. We're doing something different. Mm. 
And you guys can also tell me your favorite manga. And why you like it. Now that you know about these manga making techniques, you can be more critical when you're reading a manga. Are they are they telling the the story? Are they being conde condescending to you? There's a lot of ex exposition. But at the same time, there's, there's no... Nothing wrong with enjoying... Being spoon-fed. <laughs> That's kind of offensive. The same at the same time it's just entertainment. If you enjoy it then you enjoy it. You don't don't have to be a snob about it. <laughs> Who's e pink? <laughs> Naze Ten light Tsukaimasuka. My illustration is so beautiful. Arigato gozaimas. Uresi. Ima manga wo tsukurimas. Minna. ホーにストーリーを作りましたそして今そのストーリーを使って漫画を描きますすごく変な漫画になります Maybe I can try drawing upturned eyes for once. Always do downturned eyes. Are you guys team upturned eyes or downturned eyes? His arms showing. Should we give him? Or maybe like a like a jacket tied around the waist. That's very. Fugitive. Is it called fugitive? <laughs> Vibes. We can show some. S some sense of movement too with it. I 
we can create our own manga. Love to see that. Talentless Nana manga. <laughs> Most talentless man Nana. That sounds relatable. <laughs> Not compliment based. No, 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 no. Never seen it before. I will keep it in my tabs. Haha, <laughs> tabs. Jello seems like a very energetic person. Indeed, I think so. It can be quite pricey. I impulsively bought a shield made by hand by craftsmen here. There, so expensive, but. I love it so much. If it makes you happy, it's worth every penny. That's what you- That's what you work so hard for, right? To be able to spend money on things that make you happy. To make- to help you cope. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad about spending money on things you enjoy. You earned it. Don't think about investing in those stonks. Except tabby stonks. Except most stonks, because. Great returns, am I right? <laughs> I want to. <clears throat> this week I want to do some actual painting. In members. I remember there was a black tank top, aka best hater, before when I drew Goblin Shark Moon. But he's not putting it, putting a white shirt over it, so I think it's okay. Is that like a men's fashion rule? I never knew. Of. Well, I kind of like those those vests that just look like T-shirts with the sleeves cut off. That could be nice for him. Maybe. Interesting fabric because um, I think the leg is going this way, so the the pants are billowing out this way. Maybe a jacket shirt tied up. I used to wear that to studio time. Just try to keep that in mind. I'm drawing the Panzu Zubon. I also want to try and do singing practice almost every week. This. I feel like I always lose my progress in between each practice session now that I have. I can make it into members content. I, I should hope I will practice more often. And 
also this week feet tutorial okay now i want to start working on something else this pose i love blue period because it's relatable i quite enjoyed the anime blue period anime I don't think I got through all of it But yeah, it was... Talk, definitely talked about things I have thought before <laughs> Team Downturn Eyes Same, probably Perhaps a bit of a common answer, but I think my favorite manga is Berserk I just really connect with the message of carrying on in spite of the bleakness to find some happiness and connections. Mmm, very heavy stuff. I did start reading Berserk before. It was quite heavy. I, th I think I would really like it if I continued, but it was. It was a little <laughs> depressing, <laughs> but that's kind of the point. <clears throat> She's looking like Radako in this. I want to give her overalls. <laughs> St stereotypical painter outfit. Because why not? hint the ankle monitor is gonna be one of those things where where you don't notice until it is front and square and then you go back you're like oh yeah I didn't see that I like really enjoy details like that Was there all along? I think a lot of artists would line over this planning but I might try and turn it into line art and skip a step like I always do and when you're planning the pages another thing to keep in mind is the balance of black black white and grey have some some sort of a balance between the three to make the page look balanced. Uh -huh. How many times can I say balanced? Here painting, <laughs> paint painting pog. Really like Mieruko. Mieruko. Oh, hold on. Whoa, this horror. Yeah. 
るか。Horror and coming. I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna show you guys. I like the juxtaposition of scary and cute. That, that's always a joy to look at. <laughs> I say a joy to look at, but that's not what I mean. It's always interesting to look at. Muno. Na. No, no. It's like a tongue twister. No, na, na, na. Na, na, na. Oh, this, this is deep fried. <laughs> deep fried image. What are they about? Sell it to me in one sentence. Everyone, sell your favorite manga to me in one sentence. Where is Jello getting this melon from? Did he steal from a sewer vendor? How would they have melon if the surface is not safe to live in? Maybe it's actually the a dystopian where the privileged the privileged people have filters that allow them to live on the surface but if you're you're less fortunate you have to live in the sewers to hide from the dust the to the toxic dust There are black markets where they sell foods that are that can only be obtained on the surface on the surface. Best support character energy. Like the the puppy dog, the puppy dog half type. to watch all of maybe I shouldn't say this <laughs> but I can say that I am watching Apothecary Diaries any of you guys watching it? What, and what do you think of it? First of all, I was really confused because God, doggos outside. First of all, I was really confused because the the voice acting is in Japanese, but I'm pretty sure it's a Chinese anime. Right? That was interesting. 
I thought they would at least have a version. That is Chinese, but looks like it's just Japanese voice acting. I actually don't really like how this melon is right next to the foot. I but maybe in this case it is okay because it's not meant to be that appetizing. Probably some dry ass melons that are stale. You can underground. But if you're trying to make something tasty, I definitely wouldn't put it next to a foot. Just common sense. <laughs> Jello would be a good fe. Haha, <laughs> you mean Jello would be a good fellow? Kumi. Ha 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 ha. The beginning of Berserk is hard to get through. I actually waited a few years before reading more. Maybe that's gonna be me. <laughs> Late for class. Oh no. Commit commit Sudoku time. Hello Omni. Golden Age was a bit heavy, so I play Spot the Phallus. Spot the Phallus. <laughs> Please elaborate. Spot the Faust? This is a game? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Anyways, moving swiftly on. I can do it in one word. Griffiths! What is that? <laughs> Bibliomania. Maybe I will. I went through a period of my life where I was really into horror. That did not, was not good for my mental health. Needless to say. Bibliomania for those who are interested. This this picture looks very nice and happy, but it is actually very scary looking. <laughs> I'll let you guys look on your own. Maybe this panel... No, no, no. Yeah, go look it up. Uh... Sell me this pen. Wait, why does that sound familiar? That's a reference to something, right? <laughs> I can... I feel like it's at the, at the tip of my tongue. But I don't know what it is. Epic world building with very little explanation. What if I like explanation? But, but like... Not through dialogue and words. So it's very good at show and tell. Is that what you're saying? Paul. What is Griff Griffiths? Griffiths manga. Oh, Berserk. Well, sorry, but... <laughs> I don't think... I don't think that worked. <laughs> I need more context than just the name. I know it's a very emotional cry. Need more context. You will see how to make an arrow ace fall enough. 
fall in love. A O A romantic ace. Which manga is that for? And juvenile. Battle Angel Alita. It goes somewhere eventually. <laughs> Love that. Self aware. <laughs> it's kind of like. I can't say it. <laughs> if I say it, I'm gonna trigger all of you. Members will know. <laughs> Members will know. The tabby, spicy tabby law drop. This maybe I could even push the angle a little more. What kind of stories would you guys like to see in anime more? Like a niche that has not been tapped into enough. I was having a debate yesterday on this topic. I have a thing in mind. But you guys tell me yours. It's not commonly done. Maybe not. Is just that kind of fellow, you know? Does that mean Jello is rich? What? <laughs> no, Jello. Maybe he's rich actually. Like a rich boy from the surface <laughs> finds unfortunate. Genius painter girl underground. Actually, that that's a bit gross. Like the rich guy finds poor girl thing. It's a little gross. I w I just want them to be nakamas, but I don't know how they become nakamas. Something that's convincing and touching. Make sense of this, the knickknacks in the foreground. Yeah, basically planning stage is just putting putting blobs of sh and shapes down. That looks good, and then you go in and make sense of the blobs. It's like most artwork making processes. If I have a PowerPoint guide to that, to, what would you guys want to talk about? Would you guys want to talk about anime or actually something, something else? A lot of VTubers talk about anime already. I was thinking we could talk about cults, but will I get cancelled? <laughs> It's a cautionary tale, maybe. How to spot manipulators.
how to avoid being recruited into a cult. Knowledge is power. I know, um, Oyasumi Punpun mangaka, he uses photos and then turns, digitizes them and then turns them into line art. Would you guys want to see how, want to know how to do that? Can I find a royalty free image of the sewage system? Because that's going to be the challenge here. <laughs> I think I can't, I don't see any sewer images, unfortunately. I can just use maybe I can just use Google and then if you change the image enough it's okay. Just make sure to I actually referenced this image. Mellow fellow. He would not bellow. You guys are not gonna do it to me. No wheezing this episode. Don't know if it was made in China, but the setting definitely is China. <laughs> yes, it is. I thought it was made in China. Bit of a bummer when that happens. Foot smell. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, did you just search phallus? <laughs> I searched, search the phallus. <laughs> well, also because of this manga, I now have ankle monitor in my, in my search. Oh, we have lag right now. Photoshop is struggling. <laughs> I have ankle monitor in my search history along with felony. Why is it struggling so much with this image? Let me do a screenshot of it <laughs> instead. Photoshop and no light to sewer. Along with felony. What else did I search? <laughs> I think that's it. Is nothing moving. GG. That's the time, guys. Gonna eat early so I don't hear the birds telling me to sleep. Good night, Shiro. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Careful. I mean, I'm not showing it on stream. <laughs> Had your bowl of ketchup yet? What did you google, Tammy? <laughs> it's like Alice in Wonderland, but creepy. That's a good way to sell it. Yes, 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 I remember the fan art. Bloom Into You by Nakatani Nio.
Cute. This one looks cute. This one... Can you guys hear the talking in the background? There's this guy in the park that talks really loudly. His voice really travels. He should get into singing or something. Or giving speech. Giving speeches. Is this a Yuri? My mouth is not moving. Looks like it's moving to me. <laughs> Juvenile, I've been trying to find this manga for a while now. Ooh. Is it? Is this file still struggling? What's wrong with it? <laughs> oh no! Reopen it. Oh no, no, no. Chico da. Hentai da. <laughs> it's a Shinchan joke. When he, mean, he means to say Tai Hen da, he says Hentai da. Which is, has a different meaning. Okay, now it's working. The sewer broke it. I'm pretty sure the Pum Pum manga car just goes in and adjusts the the levels until it resembles a base for for line art. And then he works on top of it. For example, I just add the arch back in. Kind of like connect the dots. He does this with photos he's taken, so it's all his work. Oh my god. <laughs> his name again really bad with names and then the wall here connect this Imagine someone going after me for a picture of the sewage system. That would be really kind of funny and kind of scary. And then make sense of this shape. Just like a If you're going to do this, make sure it's a royalty-free image. Always better to be safe than sorry. And then just keep going until it looks good. Some people might say it's cheating, but honestly, it still takes time. Plus, he took the pictures, so. And when you're doing a manga, you're doing so many pages. So actually, this, I would say this is simply working smart.
so yeah now you guys know that's an option too for backgrounds if you're not particularly good at backgrounds clean up the shapes though pro manga artists do this don't don't feel ashamed Just trying to tell a story. As long as you don't steal someone's work, it's all fair game. And then you can add your character. <laughs> Beautifully drawn. Spicy tabio. Wait, wait, I'm, I want to read you guys this untapped into niche. What resolution are you working on? I will tell you guys. I'm working on 5.5 inches by... Uh, hold on. 5.5 by 7.75 inches at 300 pixels per inch. So, if you guys want the deets, and also, um, for the bleed, the all the guidelines here, I just just take a just use the whatever printing template the printing company gives you and then make some guidelines and also reference three existing mangas I can see this as a horror manga actually untapped into niche End of the human race stories. I know only Yokohama Haidashi Kiko o Kiko. Yokohama. What is it? Haidashi. Kiko. feel like it's not tapped into too much because it's a big big scale but I feel like isn't Dr. Stone technically end of human race Dr. Stone's pretty cool the anime is really wacky <laughs> but you learn quite a few things from it. Here it is, everyone. For those who are interested. Maybe childhood best friends who, after years apart, find each other after Relin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Relin escapes from prison. Oh, you're talking about the, <laughs> the Relin law. I thought you were talking about niches. And then you baited me into a Relin pun or something. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. There's a way to... Way to make it complete, completely unexpected. Because the... The finding each other again thing does happen a lot in anime that's why you have to handle it very carefully for it to not to not feel like something you just copied from another manga you have to you have to add your own spin to it well what would that be maybe you'd like shoujo shumatsu shumatsu ryoko oh zami this is for 
talk about cults. Okay, I will try to put together a PowerPoint on cults. You could use the cult talk to discuss the BITE method. B-I-T-E method for identifying cults. What is that? I will look into that. Three components. Behavior, thought, and emotion. Wait. B... Oh, B I for behavior. I was like, there's one one component missing. Is that, isn't that? <laughs> so B I for behavior, T for thought, and E for emotion. That sounds interesting. Make it educational, and then YouTube won't think it's a lie. Great. K K K. Genius. There are widely varied sewage systems. <laughs> Talk about sewage system. How to photo manip would be interesting. Paris sewers. Have you guys seen the London sewers? The Giga sewers? I feel like it's a good apocalyptic setting. It's enormous. London's Giga Sewers. Look at that. That's... That's a sci-fi manga right there. Good night, Cosmic. Sorry, I'm slow. I'll ask you guys lots of questions. Are you sure that's a picture of a sewage? I did Google sewage, and it was the first image. Have you ever used the AI function in Photoshop? I have never. Um, how do I use it? Do I select something and then it comes up? Is it content aware? No. Oh my god, am I gonna break it? Oh Jesus fuck. Do you guys see this? What have I unlocked? Hmm? What the? Okay. It's just the void. Thanks. Shumatsu is very yumi. Revert Photoshop to earlier versions, less bloat. I can do that, I never knew. <laughs> Lex just dropped in to say hentai. <laughs> what meaning does this hentai word have? <laughs> It's a joke from Rion Shinchan. Photoshop can't handle the manga suggestions. Too much. Too much content. Too much education. Actual manga artists have a bunch of assistants and trace as well, so it's not an issue. They do have assistance, but I get, I'm assuming they all start off on their own. Anyways, photo, photo to manga tutorial over. <laughs> Basically, mess with the levels and then draw over it to. Make it look like manga. I will look into the AI thing. That might be funny. We try sometime. Oh, 
Oh, um, one thing. To do the, to add the panels, you can just select the entire page and then deselect the parts. You select where the gaps are you supposed to be. So the character, just erase, erase the parts that are going through the character. Simple as that. Really, the stroke function really. It's a lot of. Really, it's really helpful. That's what I'm trying to say. It's an, it's an MVP. That's what the young guns say. You still run into the problem of mismatched perspective, so it's still hot. Yeah, it's still hot. It still takes skill to turn photo into manga drawing. That's why I feel like people should not discredit manga cars who use this trick. Hello Lilith, welcome in. Revisit, also revisit how to do screen tones. Then show you guys. And cross hatching too. And I show you guys how to line. those things man making a manga is really good boot camp for forces you to draw characters and backgrounds and different perspectives because you need to you need to switch up the angles to make your manga look interesting maybe I can actually have her slump back This might be more natural against this curved background. I'm 
primitive technology the anime. Yes, it is. Dr. Stone, right? I was actually thinking of going out and taking pictures to use as backgrounds once. You should do it! I always think about doing that, but I procrastinate. <laughs> Have you guys been on Google Maps? Have you guys taken reference just from Google Maps? Google Maps screenshots. Actually, if I change the pose, then this panel would make sense. Then I have to change her pose. Like... To match what she's doing here. That's another thing. That's another difficult thing about making manga. I have to make sure everything makes sense. Okay, continuous flow. You changed the previous panel, then you have to think about whether or not it makes sense. One. That would be more leaning this way now that we've changed it. So the niche I was thinking of that I feel like is not tapped into enough in anime is stories about short guys. Prime example would be Lovely Complex. The other day I went to a dumpling place and saw a couple doing coupley things. The guy was shorter than the girl, so they were standing face to face. This is the guy. This is the girl. Because the guy shorter, he was standing on a little step and that compensated for his height and they were just hugging. And I thought that was so cute. I was like, I need an anime of this. Big brain tab. Moscow Metro makes a great apocalypse. Apocalyptic setting. School Metro. Oh shit, yeah. Moscow Metro, but ru really run down, right? Hello, Outreacher. You made it. I don't use Photoshop, but I think Photoshop AI might be handy for building backgrounds. But then how can you count on it to give you what you want every time? I assume not. Don't know if Adobe allows actually after the what? The Yarg? <laughs> the Yarg version? Reverting versions, I mean. I think for generative AI tool, you need the newest Photoshop beta version. I have seen a pop-up about it in app. Maybe I have it, but I don't know. <laughs> you finally made it to a stream. You have made it to streams before. 
so bad with notifs. Same. Sending them and seeing them. <laughs> Congrats. Lovely complex is both short guy and tall girl. That too. I feel like I want more about short guys, but not necessarily paired with a tall girl. Could be just a normal height girl. Short king. Short king. Rise up. Short kings rise up. That's how I am with my boyfriend. He is six feet and I'm like four, uh, five, four. Yeah, 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 like that. Yeah, it can be with... I think with a, with a girl would be more effective because there's, there's that height signal. It's not signal. <laughs> height, um... <laughs> I'm so distracted. The height, um... You know, you ask any girl who would... What's their ideal guy like? Nine times out of ten, they'll say someone who's tall. Or taller than them. But what if... But what about... Guys that are shorter than, than the girl. And then make it really cute. I wanna see that. Is this on the same lane? Yes, it is. Trying to figure out the perspective. Sigma, Sigma Tavi. Can I do the Sigma face? This is the Sigma face. That's probably as close as I can get. Like this. <laughs> Yay, Fatalo is. Also wants to see that. Don't you think it would do really well? Definitely make waves. The anime community. I feel like kind of how Bocchi the Rock was for us Bocchis. Somebody to relate to. I also think maybe it would be a really fun viewer submission or PowerPoint guided data where we talk about funny or interesting business ideas that we've come up with. Maybe a few a submission. I don't have too many. But the other day, when I was making food for my cat, we used this um, 
raw cat freeze dried raw cat food nuggets as top topping. And we also add water to Miso's wet food. So it was a a plate of brown liquid because when you add add water to tuna the the water kind of turns brown too and then with the little freeze-dried nuggets floating on top the freeze-dried nuggets are like spaceman food in a shape like this they're crunchy dry airy not the heavy heavy crunchy like kibble it's aerated and i put them on top and then flash of inspiration came over me i was like what if what if there's a business that does pre-mixed hot chocolate pre-mixes for cats with marshmallows included guys so it's a it's gonna be a packet of something that is tasty to cats maybe like i heard liver powder is very tasty to cats or maybe dried up dried up cat some sort of cat food And it comes with marshmallows in the form of freeze-dried nuggets. Freeze-dried nuggets. Same packet. And then what you do is you open the packet, you put it in a mini mug. With the marshmallows. And you add not hot water, maybe tepid water at most, either cold uh, room temperature water or tepid water, tepid water. And then you get a mug of hot chocolate you can enjoy with your cat on Christmas Day, guys. Maybe I should have shouldn't have put this out into the world because someone's going to steal it and make millions. Imagine, imagine that as a Christmas gift. <laughs> we can tell you're trying in this <laughs> one, Matt. Thanks. Why does cat food nuggets sound appetizing to me? It's actually quite an interesting texture. This stonk the town. <laughs> Stonk Zidan. Zidan. That's really hard to say. Brilliant. Use your audience as a think. <laughs> oh my god, instead of Shark Tank, we have Mole Tank. Or is it Worm Tank? I don't know. For cats, yeah, for cats. Also, cheese puff marshmallows. You're onto something. Or like fish puffs. Writing all of these down. Not knowledge. Not knowledge. <laughs> Is cat even allowed to eat chocolate? No, it's not gonna be actual chocolate. It's gonna be cat food powder. Either like beef liver powder, which I know they like. Don't give your cats chocolate. It's poison to them. It's fake. Um, imitation hot chocolate you can have with your cats. On a movie night, then add tepid water. Yeah, do a Shark Tank like stream where you go over business ideas from the commu community. I'm writing this down. Stream idea. Do we have enough people for submissions? Will you guys? Will you guys? 
commit to this. <laughs> Mole tank, I'm gonna call this. And then I can be the judge. <laughs> oh, haha. Speaking of which, should we do some corrections? I do need a, an idol break. Bathroom, bathroom time. Oops. <laughs> not, not my cough, Chota. I really need a go. <laughs> Break BRB again. Chill melon. I mean, Jello. I keep getting his name wrong. Hello. Hold on. What do you guys say? Maybe I can I can I can say once we get ten submissions that will unlock the stream. Give you guys time. Time to come up with the business plan. What do you call it? A three year plan or is it a one year plan? I don't know. <laughs> Would be the mole hole instead of shark tank. Then then people don't are not gonna get the reference. The mole hole. True, it's true that moles don't live in a tank. My dumb ass will mistake that cat cat food and end up eating it. Fantastic! <laughs> then you, you'll get extra iron from the beef liver powder. Cat food gonna be tasty. Cat food taste test? Mangus? <laughs> chocolate but with- hot chocolate but with beef. Yes! For your cat! Okay, imagine this as a funny Christmas gift. This is not gonna be something that's used on the daily. Like a stocking stuffer kind of gift. Fantastic. I have drawn it on my actual layer. Uh, big sacrifices, guys. <laughs> I forgot to make a new layer. Pain! Pain. It's okay. It's okay. Everything can can be fixed. I 
haven't I haven't done submissions before besides corrections. I really enjoy submission streams though. For example, Mia does lots of submission streams and they're really funny. She gets trolled a lot though. <laughs> Get being trolled is okay, but I also want actual, actual ideas. Good mix. Let's think about how. The circle needs to be bigger because otherwise it would be too steep for it to be. Sleep. On. It needs to be really big for it to, for it to be able to sleep on it like that. To be a manga car, you just have to overthink a lot. Eyes fresh. We don't like stale eyes here. Where's the panel? Panel here. Okay, page two. It's like this again. The paneling. Also, another option observation is that the vertical gaps are usually more narrow than the horizontal ones. can be interpreted as pacing too like the the scenes that are next to each other happen very quickly like not much time between each scene so maybe it's a continuous shot and then you hit the horizontal gap, which indicates a pause because the gap is wider. So visually, it means more time has passed. So for example, if I were to enclose this scene in panel, Maybe like camera angle change. Oops. Stroke. Okay, so what I'm talking about is these gaps. These tend to be more narrow. The vertical ones are more narrow. And then the horizontal ones are usually wider. It's my observation. So maybe it, when you want to do a big camera angle change or some sort of transition, you can save it for the next line. It's like three grips of happenings. That's probably a more minor detail. Hello, Gustavo. Welcome in. Should I turn the Stano small into Kaiju? Always yes. 
<laughs> Always yes to kaiju if I Fast idol break Break festival Step 1 make more kaiju Step 2 release it into the tavern Step 3 profit Wait how? <laughs> it's because the British version of the show is called Dragon's Den <gasps> Yes! This is unlocking a memory Yes, Dragon's Den So would it be... So molehole is okay? <laughs> oh, mole den. <laughs> Maybe. I've tried the dog treat before. Of course you have, Farley. <laughs> there was a dog spa that made humans safe. Oh, humans save dog treats with like oats and carob instead of chocolate. So they can have carob. I didn't know that. Carob can be added to the powder mix or chocolate powder mix. Lock this shit. Melon close up. Melon's melon. Sussy. Well, I don't really need to. I want to refine faces. Oh no, my my chonky cat is on the move. She thinks it's dinner time. That's supposed to mean <laughs> <laughs> questioning Folly's character. Never watched Shark Tank. I have only seen clips of it. What I mean, Folly, is I feel like you're a very empathetic person, and I imagine you would really like to understand. What dogs go through when when they have a tasty treat? Yes, that's why I think you would steal one for yourself. <laughs> See, it's a great thing. I don't think dog treats are gonna taste good. I think mostly because they don't have any seasoning. There's a lot of dog treats have oats and peanut butter. Very tasty sounding things. But can you eat those things without either sugar or salt? Most people would probably not enjoy it as much without seasoning. That's what makes dog treats left not very tasty. Not really the ingredients, but the lack of seasoning. Very bland. <laughs> I 
the scene Pacific Rim. That's my plan for Mo Kaiju. I have seen it. I liked it. Well, I don't remember the kaiju in it though. Pacific Rim Kaiju. Oh shit. That's gonna be one intense artwork. Good luck. Show us the more kaiju. I believe in you. That was a sly. Of course you have. <laughs> I'd say a human saved dog tree is just a cookie dogs can eat too. Oh! Fatalo knows what's up. Now if you put it that way... Good night, Nimu. Thanks for dropping by. First time seeing you. Glad to have glad to have you. Oh what he coming. Take care, Nima. Yes, take care. You know that's like the best way to have worded that. I appreciate that take. Phew. <laughs> Phew. See, I got the word wrist too. It's not just hype song, all meeks. Then he's taking a bite out of it as he's sitting down right here. Oh yeah, I was gonna do corrections. Anything else I want to show you guys? When I want to show you guys stuff, I just put it in in my oh, I have some marshmallows in my artwork file. Tabby stream, Scott McCloud. Looks like I've showed everything. I have marshmallows, but. I don't know how to answer them really because I don't have enough for a full on video and I also have too many to answer at the end of the stream. Favorite anime? Why would you ask people that? <laughs> How does one choose a favorite anime? Mm, I would say... I would say maybe... I can... Maybe Odd Taxi because it's short and it's well executed. It's like a perfectly wrapped little present. Don't have to don't have to say oh except for that spin-off. You know? <laughs> this is my favorite anime, but please ignore that that random spin-off they did for no reason. Oh taxi is a good one. Hmm. Duck has invaded marshmallow, thank you. What are your future plans regarding streaming and also art? I love your art, by the way. Wish to see more and maybe old art from when you were a beginner. That's the thing about showing old art as a VTuber, because people are gonna reverse search that and then find your past life. Not that I really have much going on. So I probably won't be showing much old art unless I find some that's never been posted before. Also, I'm the type of person who loses all the files. <laughs> it would be difficult to find old art too. Sorry, that's disappointing. Uh, future plans, I went over them during debut stream. I'm pretty sure this was posted before debut stream. 
I can reference my debut. Where can we see more of your beautiful art? I need to post them. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, how long have you been drawing for? Been working on my own stuff for about eight years. But before that, I was also drawing, but mostly for competitions or um, more like one competition. One competition and homework. And obviously, like every other artist, I've been drawing since I was a kid. But in terms of digital art, I... Um, maybe 10 years. <laughs> um, each color, I will, I will try consolidate all my ideas and then let's paint together in a public stream. I'm going to practice drawing in members stream first to remember all of the painting tips and tricks and just to practice in general. Are there any books, poem or miscellaneous literature in particular that you really enjoy? And do you have any authors, perhaps canto ones? Ooh, maybe the pandas can recommend some to us that you would recommend. Thank you for all your streams, you really are the highlight of the week. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> This sounds like Meeks because it's books. And he's a Meeks is a cinnamon roll. Much like all of you. <laughs> Curiosity knows no bounds. I have been tempted many times to eat a dog biscuit, but I have not crossed that path yet. You know what really was enticing to me in terms of pet food? You guys ever had a hamster before? I have never had one before, but... I lived with my guardian in the UK. Since I was a... I was a, an international student. And they had these yogurt drops for hamsters. Kinda looked like this. And they were light pink, strawberry flavored yogurt drops. Oh my god, they look so delicious. Have you guys ever had those yogurt, quote unquote, yogurt covered cereal bars called Go Ahead or something? No, not go ahead. It's something else. Something similar to go ahead in the UK. And this yogurt substance they they're re referring to basically tastes like white chocolate, but a little bit tart. Hamsters. Yeah, I really wanted to eat those yogurt drops for hamsters. Actually, I can probably Google a picture for you guys. Example. That looks delicious. Scooby snacks. So by supplementing with things like eggs, meat, carrots, and dog safe veggies help keep a dog on track. Ooh. For dogs. I feel like supplements are great. And especially if you have a dog. 
Most dogs really love food, not super picky. You should really take advantage of that because we have cats and picky cats. So difficult to get them to eat stuff that's good for them. Knife head or leather back. Very, very cool names. They make dog treats look so tasty. It be very hard to resist sometimes. It be very hard to resist sometimes. I feel it. Our taxi was really good. Ping pong, the animation is deaf up there. I thought it was really interesting, ping pong, but I was really into it in the beginning and then I trailed off. Similar to Epo. Don't kill me. <laughs> I'm trailing off on Epo. Epo has a lot of. because of the t when it was made, it's. It's a, it can be uncomfortable for girls to watch. Just my opinion. And um, at a certain point in the beginning, I felt like it was really good at keeping me engaged, even though it's they always have a boxing match every episode. I was like, wow, they really make every match unique. But I guess that was only up to a certain point. Now it's the feeling a little bit monotonous. Don't cancel me, don't kill me. <laughs> I feel like it will probably get good again if I keep going, but right now it's a bit difficult to get through. Either that or you could draw old sketchbooks that weren't update uploaded. Show old sketchbooks. I don't have any of my sketchbooks because I moved. You win any? What? <laughs> you win any yoga drops? Oh, competitions? Um, you could say I did. <laughs> that one, that one competition I did. But the work I made for it, absolute rubbish. Burn it. <laughs> Hello, murder. <laughs> Always fun to say hi to murder. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Say hi to murder. Welcome murder. How do you prep a hamster? What does that mean? <laughs> no, I've never eaten a hamster. <laughs> I think I paused a little too long. Um, yeah, they look like they're for people. White chocolate drops. Hamsters drink yogurt. It's probably made of vegetable oil, which is not great for the hamster. I wonder if it's real yogurt. You can have trail mix with the yogurt chips in it. Yeah, for me, if I if I had that at home, I would just pick out all the yogurt, yogurt chips. Do you guys do that? Or do you like an even mix? Even mix of The, the snacks, all the different parts of the snack. I always pick out my favorite bits. Um, pandas, do you know any Cantonese authors? Because I have never read any. In terms of books, um, I really can't say much. <laughs> about books. I haven't finished many books in my lifetime, but the one that stands out to me is Jane Eyre. Um, I also used to really like Murakami because of the 
atmosphere. His drawings. I mean, <laughs> his novels. But in terms of content, like what the story is saying, I'm not sure if I relate to that anymore. But Murakami is very good at atmosphere. When you read it, um, when you read his book, you just in your brain you just see a Japanese movie with that distinctive greenish filter. That's what you see in your head. He does that with words. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, I want I would like to expand my horizons in, in terms of reading. I literally cannot say anything about poems. Like the really f famous poems I haven't haven't even read. Like Ed Allen Poe. I have not read. Um, but in junior school, I wrote a poem and the teacher really liked it. <laughs> That's my only memory relating to poems. And I think one of our Japanese viewers gave us a bunch of game wrecks on on marshmallow one of these days i will go through them three games in return for the valentine's day giddy choco they gave us three game recommendations maybe this will be helpful for you guys too you guys are looking for Three games to play. This says Hebi no Inochi or something. <laughs> uh, at first I read it as Baby's Inochi. That would have been a very different story. Thank you, Anonymous, for the game rocks. How long does an illustration usually take? Too long! At least, if you're talking about my full paintings, I would say at least at least 10 hours and then for me I just infinitely work on work on the same piece infinitely when when there's no deadline so I feel like sometimes I could reach 20 hours like something ridiculous like that you don't have to do that <laughs> give yourself a deadline you can you can always post it and then come back to it and work work more on it don't have to be like me just wanted to send you my appreciation i picked up drawing for the first time last november and it was such a struggle at first but seeing your streams as well as everyone's art in the tavern has helped and motivated me so much. Pog. Low key though, I feel kind of burnt. Burnt? Burnt? Burnt or burnt out. My dog is picky AF. Oh, really? You got unlucky. It's supposed to be for baby babies. How do you know what it tastes like? I'm guessing for the yogurt drops. Yeah, I got monotonous after a while. All good, no cancellation here. Thank you. What what if I what if I do uh you know what hate watch? <laughs> you know what hate watch stream. Will I get cancelled? <laughs> the plot move after a while though. Yeah, that's what I thought for Ipo. Monster mole or mutant mole? Mutant sounds interesting actually. Random guy man. Wanna do that? But you were initially going for monster. Don't don't make us pick. You do what your heart decides. 
Depends on my mood. Sometimes I'll just take a handful and eat a whole handful at a time to mix the flavors. Oh, interesting. I'm more of a one at one at a time person. I'm a grazer. If Han Hongmao Kenneth, I don't read books. Relatable. Dongyong. Oh, that's very famous. I really liked Murakami. His first couple of books about the pinball machine was peak ambience for me. Yeah, ambience. That's a good way to put it. Pinball machine. I, I should look into that. Before he sold out. <laughs> is that what this is? Murakami. Pinball. They say an artist. An artist has to be suffering to make good work. <laughs> Maybe he became successful and then his works became less good. How do you guys feel about that saying? Artist makes their best work when they're suffering. When they're poor and desperate. <laughs> Loki though, I feel kind of burnt, burnt a bit. Well, if you're talking about burnout, then feel free to take time off from either the tavern, the streams, or drawing in general. If, if your life will allow it. Yeah, I do feel like when I look at social media more, I feel more uninspired. <laughs> And burn out. You have to find what it is you enjoy drawing outside of social media. Because when you're on social media, you're just like, oh, I want to draw what everyone else is drawing to get either subconsciously to get the likes or you, your mind tricks you into thinking, I also enjoy drawing this stuff. Also kind of tangent, but I just want to give appreciation to everyone, you guys, in the tavern too. I recently graduated college and since graduating, meeting and seeing in real life friends have become very sparse. I feel it. So, uh, I guess you can say it gets a little lonely sometimes. Pray. But thanks to the mole community, it doesn't feel that way as much. Also, just adjusting to new lifestyles and all that helps too. That's awesome. Not too much at all. Love to hear it. Thank you. Konnichiwa! Ohayou gozaimasu, Katsura Utamaru-san. Also, hello winter. Um... Kyo wa? Manga wo sukurimasu. Manga no... Is it called shita... Shita gaki? Sketch? Shiteimasu. Mae... Mae tsukuta story wo tsukateimasu. Minna no... Omoshiroi... Hanashi... Wo... Narimasu. Something like that. <laughs> Man mango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ima <laughs> wa mashimaro wo. Mashimaro wo tabete imasu. <laughs> Manga naru hoto. What's impressive? What's impressive and juvenile? I will look into it. Maybe it'll be helpful to read it for mix. The 
Raven is Edgar Edgar's best. I know it because it's so famous. <gasps> I won't hear arguments otherwise. Okay. Your even your icon is very the Raven aesthetic. Based do it hate watch stuff. Also, hate watch at the same time. Try not to hate Tabby, because I be I be hate watching popular stuff that everyone likes. <laughs> Some cancellations here then, <laughs> maybe in members. You guys can vote for it, but, but you guys, if you guys get serious about it and end up hating me, then you lose. Okay. <laughs> You can never escape the tavern though. Like Osamu Dazai. Did like wanting to die most of the time. <laughs> Wait, that sounds really relatable. Osamu. <laughs> I have heard of him before, but I think that sentence just sold me. Suffering brings a lot of emotions in, after all. More so than not. So maybe it's partially true. Now think think about it, most legendary artists actually suffering like Vincent van Gogh. Ah. I'm always so sad for him. Do you, do you guys think he would be happy knowing how successful? his paintings have become Marshmallow uh, Game no ossesume wo ukemashita Moshikashite Otsurao Tamagusan no Marshmallow <laughs> Arigatai desu Arigato gozaimasu Whoever it may be the fact that Murakami can make you imagine a scene with that just text, I know. I don't know if it's because... I don't know if it's because I have watched a lot of Japanese movies. And I have that in my brain, brain bank. Or is his word magic? I assume it's his... His, it must be his skills because that's why he's so famous right <laughs> um where was I yeah I'm I hope you get settled into your new lifestyle whoever this may be and we're happy to help you along the way we'll be here not going anywhere anytime soon. How do you guys feel when a mole, like imagine a mole, one of the core moles, they leave the tavern? Not for sad reason, but for happy reasons. Maybe they they finally they they do too busy with really good friends they met in real life, etc. Would you guys be sad and want them to come back? Would you be happy for them? Imagine maybe Type San or Shiro or Meeks or you know the regulars Kumi. Um, was that too much? What does MB mean? Maybe, if it was. Any, any, how do you say this? Is it any who or any how? <laughs> In short, Tabby is a really cool mole and I'm glad to be here. Oh, Thank you so much for your kind words. It really means a lot. You may not think it, but is what what keeps streamers going, I imagine. On 
top of um, um do we want to do corrections or save it for tomorrow after feet tutorials <laughs> which I need to figure out Maybe oh oh MB means my bad. I see it. Goya painting Jupiter devouring a Snickers bar. <laughs> Wait, why are you bringing this up right now? Are you talking about the really horrifying? One of my favorite paintings. Sat Saturn devouring his sun. I don't even feel comfortable posting it here, but I will post a a memeified version of it. One of my one of the most memorable memorable paintings I saw during art history. <laughs> I don't know if I want to call it my favorite painting, but there's there's a lot of emotion behind this. In the original, this is not a hot dog, and the title is Saturn Defiring His Son. So use your imagination. Maybe not. He might see it as a slight because of how much he got disrespected when he was around. What? <laughs> oh, the Van Gogh. I see, I see. Maybe not. He would be a bit, might be a bit better. Personally think I would be happy to know I left a mark in this world, but I don't know him. Probably forget about the event in real life friends. <laughs> nice joke. Con conni conniwa. If it were a new member, I feel like it'd be sad, but I feel like letting them know they always had a place to come back to if they needed anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good point. It's a good point. Even if you leave, you can come back. It's not, not like you get kicked out. But things might be a little bit different by the time you come back. I feel like maybe I don't have, have enough brain cells for corrections. But we can finish talking about the topics we're talking about. While I scribble. <laughs> Probably won't realize until someone make a fuss about someone leaving. <laughs> wow, brutal. <laughs> You're all forgettable to and juvenile. Bittersweet, but the mole network goes strong and always around. That's why I hope for. Can't force anyone to stay in one place. Yeah, exactly. Even if you ask them to stay, they don't if they're, they're not into it anymore then it's not gonna be a good time for for anyone absolutely tenchi someone leaving the tavern would be like a classmate changing schools 
But usually, when classmates change schools, it's not their choice. Usually, it's family circumstances. Maybe you could say if they choose to change schools, it's so memeable. <laughs> Who's his dad? Why is he holding a hot dog? He's or he's originally holding something else. Let's just say, but it's okay. Sometimes we just change. Hello, Oren. Welcome to the garden. Thank you for supporting the mole network. Everybody, welcome. Oren. Odin. Um, where was I? <laughs> there were hot dogs back then. <laughs> Guys, it's a meme. Memeified. Why he scream? I could really go for hot dog after seeing that. Craving. Unlocked. I remember looking into this painting actually quite interesting while also disturbing. Hello, M said HR. Yeah, quite. I feel like they really captured. They, I think the, the the let's just say the the artist set out to disturb, and they succeeded. <laughs> But I don't know why the the legs of his son are so neatly arranged. <laughs> That's one thing that really makes it even more uncanny. I have short attention span. <laughs> so yeah, sorry. It's okay. I think also over time you will get a deeper impression of everyone. Yeah, when you interact with more of the moles, is usually you'll start to remember someone after you've directly interacted with them. finished talking about everything that was on our minds let's do ending doodle everybody ending doodle time i want to doodle mono san mono mone that's <laughs> funny because we've been talking about art I want to draw Doodle Mono san and her Tabe Monos to thank her for raiding us the other day. And then you guys give me an idea. Mono Mone. Are there any Tabe Monos here that can give us some Mono Law? <laughs> Need some law to make a good ending doodle. Some sort of inside joke. She is a groovy, funky, sleepy cutie. Magical paint wow, lots of lots of elements here. She's everything. No more monochrome dates. Maybe her painting? Her painting something? She's got a lot of art of her holding a paintbrush. something funny interesting you can draw a painter doing maybe her painting something really dumb 
like a dumb cat or something or like a dumb picture of her fans I don't even know what her fans look like Monos Habe Monos Well, it's Italian after all. Of course, some will leave. Just hope they leave happy. Yeah, true, true. Can't find what her fans look like. Maybe she doesn't have a fan? Um... Fan art artwork? Fan character? Fan mascot? Let's try. Let me just draw her first. Character sheet be helpful. Oh yeah, you guys, I have to draw my own character sheets. She's very athletic, athletic looking painter. Holy shit, is that see-through? Wow. Oh, she's, she rollerblades. She slips and ruins her painting. Cultured design. That's pretty hot. Please control yourselves. Please find God. That's what I like to see. Rollerblading artist with see through raincoat. God, Tabby. Who's oying me? Rude. Maybe she re she received a melon and is very puzzled as do I. Maybe she's painting a melon. I want it to be. I want it to be not not too weird for her to receive. She slips on some paint. And 
then this does a is a split in mid air. <laughs> oh no, this is unsafe. So it's gonna be very unsafe so for her. This is really random. <laughs> this is um maybe a little too random. Not, not the splits. Oh. <laughs> when, when the my laptop glitches and it affects the BGM, it sounds like a really sick beats about to drop. <laughs> Imagine this on a plushie. She's gonna have a raincoat on her plushie. That's really cool. Unless it's not a raincoat material. But even if it's a sheer material, it's quite interesting. I wonder if it's difficult to manufacture. She made plushies of herself. The stuff I think about when looking at VTuber designs. How can I turn this into a plushie? Maybe she just slips on some paint. Then she's holding some paint. She's going, she's, she's like squeezing down on it as she's going down. Not helping the situation at all. <laughs> Disaster in the art studio. Call this one. Mo, mo, cult combined with mono, cult. Too powerful. Ami Sama forsake me. I like the roller skater design. Yeah, really fun. Rollerblading. And a painting. And painting at the same time. Ooh. Ooh, guys, guys, what about she's roller she's creating a painting by roller skating on it. You guys see my vision? That would make for such cool fan arts. Let's do a chibi version of it. I may have just broken my draw. Um, see my vision. <laughs> my 
division is. We'll just do a cutesy version of it. Is there anything you guys want me to draw also? Besides Mono? So just switch. Just change all of a sudden. completely say so if I'd her. <laughs> Duplicate these slimes or I cut corners. Oh, <laughs> cut cutting corners gone wrong. Okay. And then it's gonna be colorful marks. She's making a painting. By roller skating. If I ever decide to become a VTuber, I'm just gonna start out as an egg. But I'm too broke for that. I'm pretty sure you can... You don't need rigging for an egg. You can just be a PNG. And it's free. Go on Pixabay or something. And get a royalty-free egg picture. Melon from a... <laughs> What am I reading? What are you guys saying? I'm losing brain cell. <laughs> C C boing. Lose lose all brain 
cells. And then there's gonna be like a tray of paint for her for her to step on. Once it's colorful, it'll make sense. And then for the painting, it'll just be a bunch of lines. That'd be pretty cool to do in real life. Except I would fall to my death. Yeah, a rollerblade painting. Stepping on it. Kinda like how babies... Uh, mothers will make the babies step on. Step on the canvas to preserve the footprint. Kind of that, that vibe. Yay! Her uh, ahoge is more like... Any other drawing requests? Could use a yellow mesh. Could be. It, the way it's colored makes it look like vinyl. S red, please. <laughs> control. Control yourself. <laughs> This illust is also so cute. Arigato! Kuro-san. Kuro-san. Yon hair, cause. Yon hair. This curly wavy hair. You guys know the. The V. Uh. Pre debut VTuber, Raggy Chiffon. She literally has yon hair. Really cool design. She is a doll of some kind and she's got st the stitching around her legs looks really cool she has buttons for eyes it has it has kind of like okay this is this is raggy slander it has kind of like this and then she's got dolls pinned to her head. And then her her hair strands are literal pieces of yarn. Which makes her very difficult to draw, she mentioned. And then her legs are like this and then and then they have a seam down the middle. It's really cool. Next time I could draw her. Would be fun. Buy a real egg and put a web <laughs> webcam on an egg cam. Need. It is a need. I don't want to go to bed after Tabby stream. Please sleep. Wait. Are you streaming after? Hype Sun, I hope you're not. Because that's pretty crazy. Because last time you streamed after my stream. Tried making making it after with the Life 2D trial. It was not enough time to even learn what anything in the program went meant. 
Yeah, I already tried it once before. I made my model. And then for this model, I used the Live 2D trial again. And I was able to finish within deadline. But that's because I already poked around previously. Um, when... But, um... I gave up on the first model. And then forgot about streaming for a while. Okay, then in that case, I would just color this and call it a day. If no more requests. I think we're, our brains are all tired here. Long stream today. Actually... stream, member stream immediately after I finish the main stream. I like to practice once a week. And also test the fan lyrics I made for some songs. I want to make shorts with the silly lyrics I wrote. Still haven't tried making a short yet. anyone has any tips, please send them my way. I feel like I should probably color her raincoat separate. So lay it on top. Easier to apply transparency. The first art stream I ever watched was Alexandre de Bone, and he had a cat cam. I was mesmerized. <laughs> some sign of a leg.
ribbon. Kind of pinkish black handle. Something simple. And then mouth. The mouth. Pickles is like, where is my dinner? Where the fuck is my dinner? I noticed the, the moles who stream, they've started to swear a lot. I hope it's not my bad influence. I hope I'm not a bad influence. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, have you guys watched the Kiara and Ina collab? Off collab, Kiara is really spilling the beans on real life Ina, like what she wears, it's pajamas. I want to know more. Don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry for more real, real life IRL inner content. Please spill the beans. Apparently, she wears a very girly summery dress, as even though it's winter, or still very cold, she wears a girly summery dress with schoolgirl checkered, schoolgirl skirt checkered. Checkered pattern. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell me more, Kiwawa. Kiwawa. Surely, surely. <laughs> yeah, my vision. It's come true. Has materialized. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think this part is a red line. Have you guys seen the anime Red Line? The 
that's a stunning movie. Anime movie. Check it out. She's saying we. <laughs> yeah, red line, so stylish. Took a long time to produce, and I feel like it was worth every minute in terms of making history, maybe not in terms of revenue. Should I have to please sleep, hype sound. Anyways, wait. Why are we DLLM right now? <laughs> Why are we Manhao Auntie <laughs> right now? Who says DLLM on stream? I'm gonna check out her stream. What's <laughs> the collab? Cute. So cute. So much juicy IRL in a Content, pink and blue, good combo. Yeah, I just uh, grabbed it from her character design. I assume they're patches of dried paint. She's a painter. I also had paint all over me while I was in art school. Can confirm. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to smash that motherfucking like and subscribe button. Otherwise, I will DLLM. <laughs> it's been really fun hanging out with you guys, just talking about random stuff. Tomorrow, I'll come back for feet tutorial. Thank you for watching. All oh, animators age 20 years for that movie. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Tabby out!